out. So just once traveling, looking in the mirror, 18 wheeler trying to pass me. Once the truck um, tried to pass me and hit my car from the back and I started flipping, I think at the third flip, I passed out. And when I woke up, I was on the ground. Um, I was thrown out of my seatbelt out through the window. Not even remember hitting the ground and feel just didn't remember mostly anything. When I look up and saw the car, the car was wrapped around a tree. It wasn't even touching the ground. Um, the trunk of the car was in the back seat. I was supposed to meet my daughter's father that morning because I had no one to watch her while I go to work. So I was supposed to meet him so he could get her. But thankfully, my sister stayed out of school that day. And she was like, hey, I'll stay at home and I'll keep her for you. My daughter's car seat was in the tree. The part where she sit in, it was in the tree. So thankfully, she was not with me that day. Um, moving forward, went to the hospital, couldn't feel my legs or anything of that nature. I was told I would have to stay in the hospital over two weeks. Um, but God didn't say that. He didn't say I had to stay two weeks. He didn't say I wasn't going to be able to use my legs. I just know that my back was hurting really, really bad. Come to think of, I had to get 40 staples in my back. But let me tell you the miracle of how I overcame death. First of all, God spared me, gave me another chance at life. And I'm grateful for that. Not only did I have to stay in the hospital two weeks, but I walked out the very same day. <laughs> The same day? Same day. It was hours later. I was walking about two miles per hour, but I walked out on my own legs that mm -hmm. very same day. But God, mm -hmm. but God. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. And that is how I survived. Mm -hmm. It was just God's grace and mercy and his protection mm -hmm. upon me. Mm -hmm. That is how I survived. That right there is, uh, uh, that right there is just a, 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 that right there is just something that only God can do. Only God can do what you just described. <laughs> only, no human, only God can do. No, no paramedic, no, no nobody. Man. No that man. That's possible. And y'all, I mean, sometimes it just be like a praise break mode. I, I got a copyright free version. Hold on. So we'll... Huh? <laughs> y'all yeah. hear that? Yeah. My hallelujah belongs to him. My hallelujah belongs to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Only God can do it. Only God, God can do it. Anything. Only God did it. Only God did it. Yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah. Only God can do. Only God can do things like that. No human can get credit mm -hmm. for. I mean, thank God for the paramedics. Thank God yes, for everybody that showed up because yeah. I, I'm sure they showed out. But at the and end the of blessing, the day, the blessing, oh, of it, the blessing of it was he sent people to me that I know. It was my godfather that found me. My godfather that found me. My mom and my sister was driving by from what I was told. My mom and my sister was driving by. And from my understanding, my mom told my sister Somebody has had a bad car accident. She said, by the look of that car, they did not survive, not knowing it was her child that was in that car because of how how the how beat up the car was. My sister, on the other hand, she kept looking back and she told my mom, well, Sean car. And I could see this girl running towards me at that moment, didn't have any clue of who she was. And the moment she wrapped her arms around me, I immediately knew this is my sister. But then she looked at me for a moment. She looked at me for a moment and started running through towards the woods. And that's when she noticed that the car seat was in the tree and she thought the baby was in there. But she wasn't. Yes. Okay. This, you're right. This, this right here. I can't. Let me use one more time. I, feel oh, girl, I gotta go back to that. I done, I done totally done laid back and I'm in the <laughs> your, your yeah. sister comes. <laughs> Only God. Only God. God. Only God. Your sister okay. and your mama riding by at the same time on the same highway in the same car. In the Come same on, car, and they see your car. The mama don't know it's your car. Uh, 
but the sister like that looks like that's my sister's car over there. She come yeah. running back. I got chills yeah. everywhere over me, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Yes. And she running trying to find your baby yes, who's being watched by your sister at home because she going to stay home that day. What oh, God. But holy God. God. Come on now. Come on now. Holy God. Come on now. Holy God. Come on now. Yes. Come on now. The Holy Spirit don't only take over in a church environment. The Holy Spirit can take mm -hmm. over in any environment, hey, no matter listen, where you are. Listen. And I'm going to tell you. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Mm. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God did it. Only God Ooh. did it. He did Thank it. You, Jesus. Thank I you, am Lord. the proof. Y'all, if y'all have a praise God. in your spirit in the studio audience, I want y'all to put some emojis too. <laughs> you can shout and praise his name and thank him for the goodness of how he spared yes. this woman Renee's life, spared her baby and left the baby at home. Lord, have mercy. You are so worthy of all of our praise. All right. Yes, I am an overcomer woman. 2.0. All right, y'all. Let's, let's and I let's, just want to give you guys a... Um, I wrote this poem a few years ago. God. It's called, Why Does My Confidence Offend You? Why does my confidence offend you? When you walk by, you turn your head. I'm really not the envy type. I'm more focused on making it instead. Why does my confidence offend you? Is it because I walk with my head held up and not down? Or is it because I always tend to be happy and I choose not to wear a frown? Why does my confidence offend you? I speak boldly with words of force. If I think it, I spit it out with respect for you, of course. Why does my confidence offend you? My size is not small, medium, or large, but my size is a plus. I step like I own it and walk so hard you can see the dust. My confidence shouldn't offend you. It should inspire, it should inspire you instead to walk with pride and joy while never lowering your head. Stop seeking validation on what you already know to be true. Then you wouldn't have to question why my confidence offends you. Don't let no confidence mm -hmm. offend you after you hear what Renee Hunter just said. Hey, man. You can walk with your head. <laughs> I'm about to take a bag on that portrait. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. Put